Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Down, 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 down. Just kidding. Uh, I feel like Johnny Cash. I'm in all black today. Uh, but my name's Brian. Uh, this is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel. So welcome. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, and we're going to talk about the Iowa Beer Company. I've done several uh, reviews on the Iowa Beer Company since last um, November, I think it was, or October. We did our... Um, fall extravaganza live stream and kind of fell in love with the uh, oil that justin sent us uh and had a chance to, to work with them and, and, and even do a, a collaboration my very first one his very first one uh his company is really growing um so really good oils and balms and butters for your beer okay um maybe in a future video i'll kind of go over all of the scent profiles and kind of give you my take on them i don't have all of them yet i got them really close um, but maybe when I get all of those in, I will give you a big overview on that. But today, I wanted to talk specifically about the shower products. I've got uh, some soap and then the co-wash uh, and the beard wash that I have. Really talk about that for a little bit. Uh, but then also talk about some of the other things that he's got. So, uh, the Iowa Beard Company has a great uh, presentation. The logo's kind of got the old-timey feel uh, with the with the logos on that. So, a lot of the, the swag stuff that he's got looks really, really really good so I want to go over that uh, in case you're interested but first I want to go over the uh, the beard wash and the co-wash and the soap all right so these are in really big eight ounce bottles um, so they go for $18 a piece or $32 for the pair which is a really really good buy um, by the way, I do have a discount code for you. So Beards and Banjos 15 will save you 15% on your order. So make sure you take advantage of that. You can get an even bigger deal. All right. Um, so I want to talk about the beard wash here. This is a very unique beard wash. Uh, Justin makes it himself. Uh, I think he said the only thing he doesn't like fully make himself is the, uh, the co-wash. I think he gets part of the base and then he adds some more stuff to it from what I understand. Uh, but the beard wash, I would pour it out and show you, but it's, um, uh, it's darker in color. It's like a, a brownish color. All right. Um, but the ingredients that I can see here are neem leaf juice, uh, vitamin E, jojoba argan, oil, aloe vera, uh, shea butter, cocoa, uh, coconut oil vegetable glycerin all right uh, it has it's unscented both of these are unscented yet they both have a scent to them uh, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about this um, you may find this to be a weird scent um, to me and, and it doesn't last long once you use it and everything you know how that stuff goes with the uh, shampoos and conditioners and stuff it has some sort of scent that I smelled in my youth and it's oddly pleasing, uh, kind of brings back good memories. I just don't know what it is. Uh, if somebody has smelled this and kind of uh, make the connection for me, I don't know what I'm smelling, but it uh, smells very clean. Um, and that's what it does to your beard. It, it cleans your beard. Uh, lots of good lather when you uh, use it. And for me, it's, it's um, kind of a medium strip on a scale of like one to five, where one is no strip, five is like pine tar taking everything out. To me, it's kind of in the medium uh, range, like three, maybe a slightly above that three and a half. I feel like it, it kind of resets my beard when I use it. Uh, so that is the beard wash. Uh, the bottles look great. Look at the logos on these things. Uh, very, very classic, traditional, classy. I don't know exactly the word you would use for it, uh, but on it, but it looks really, really good. Now the co-wash uh, is, um, is white in color. Uh, and this, I won't try to read all the ingredients on that. Uh, but it does a good job as well. Um, my schedule, I usually uh, maybe use the wash a couple times a week, use the co-wash a couple times a week. Uh, if there's a day where I don't uh, work out and get really sweaty, I'll just do a rinse. So that's kind of my, um, uh, my routine for the week on that. And this works, uh, it works well. Um, when I get finished, my beard feel, feels soft. I can go on about my day, but I highly recommend you checking these out. Uh, it's $32 for the pair is really good. The only thing that I would say, and this is just personal preference for the bottles, I do like them, um, but they're kind of short, kind of fatter bottles. So in my little shower caddy, uh, I'm always fighting with my wife to see who can get more stuff in the little shower caddy. If it was a taller, skinnier bottle, I could get more in it. But other than, other than that, just minor 
not inconvenience, but minor, uh, I would say, uh, observation on my part. Uh, great, great shower products there. As well as the soap he sent me now. He sent me the, um, uh, the soap that he makes. You can get in several different scents, and I would assume more scents to come. He makes it himself. So whatever kind of scent you like in the beard oil and stuff, there's a possibility that he either already makes it in the soap or maybe he could. Uh, his company's really growing, so I'm very excited to see that. Uh, but I got a little prototype here of the uh, Sophisticated Cedar, which is my collaboration scent, which is uh, cedar wood and peppermint primarily. Uh, this was the, one of the first ones he sent me. I haven't used it yet. I've, I've just used up the American Gentleman scent, which I, I love. Uh, works really well. Um, I won't go over all of the uh, in, uh, ingredients on it, but it's, uh, I see a few here, olive oil, coconut oil, safflower oil, um, so it's a really good stuff. It's, uh, it's pretty slick on your body, works very well, kind of reset everything. Um, it does feel clean when you get when you get done with that. I'm not an expert on the natural soaps. I think maybe one or two other companies that have sent me soap. I just don't go out and buy them. Um, my wife has uh, very sensitive skin. She's redheaded, very sensitive skin. She'll only use certain things, so I can't even get her to, to try these natural soaps. But um, therefore, I just use whatever's in the shower. So uh, I'm not an expert on that. But if you've tried the uh, the, the soap from Iowa Beer Company or your natural soap person, uh, tell me how it goes in the comments. Uh, and then the other thing I wanted to talk about was the uh, like some of the other stuff. Some beard companies are kind of really small batch and, and Iowa small batch. They just don't look like small batch um, because of the, the good presentation and the wide variety of products uh, that they give you. So I want to talk a little bit about some of the I think the word is swag these days, beard swag. You got some t-shirts here that Justin sent me. I like the logo so good that I picked it up in the uh, in the mug. All right, so he's got mugs. By the way, it also has a body lotion. Um, so that's $16 for eight ounces. Uh, and by the way, the soap price was $8 for a bar, five ounce bar. I have no idea if that's a good price or not, but once again, you can use my discount code and save a little bit more. Uh, it's got mustache wax. I haven't tried that yet. I uh, might need to try that out. Um, it's got safety razors, a shaving kit, got gift cards too. So if you're uh, interested in that for uh, Father's Day uh, present for your father, or if you are a father and you can always request one of those. Uh, also has candles, all right, and he makes those as well. Uh, so that is six ounces for $18. Uh, and then when some of the swagger, we talked about the mug, we've got t-shirts, lots of good logos on it. These were kind of, uh, well, this one here was that he sent me for, for Halloween, uh, but it's got some good logos too, um, especially for the black pearl and the snake oil. It's got the Beard the Lady logo. Uh, you can get that logo on a shirt. Uh, you can get it in a tank top for my friend Scott from Beer Times with Scott. He's, he has a tendency to bust out of his sleeves and rip those off. So just get a tank top and save himself the effort there. Get koozies. Oh, got hats. So I ordered the, uh, I like the logo so good. I ordered it in the mug and I ordered the hat because he had a flex fit. I like the flex fit hats. Uh, so I got one of those. It's got trucker style hats and other, other styles as well. Uh, what else do I have? It's got the neck, uh, neck gaiter, uh, so you can get that nice logo on that and keep your face covered up if you uh, need to do that. Uh, and then also even for your phone case, you can get the logo on a, a phone case for your iPhone or what, uh, whatever else you might have. All right, so lots of good stuff going on there at the Iowa Beer Company. Uh, so happy to see uh, see him growing, uh, making a go of it. He's, I told him I told him today. He's like, you really got some good momentum now. Let's let's see if we can keep it going. So once again, uh, and by the way, I don't get any. It's not an affiliate code. I don't get any money off of it. No money off my collaboration. None of that. I told him that. Uh, this is, for me, this is a hobby. I don't want to turn it into a, uh, a side job. I've got, I've got enough of those already. So this was just for fun. So just, just, just to help them out. Sometimes you kind of, uh, click with, uh, with some owners and, uh, you can't, it's hard to kind of click with everybody. I'm an introvert. I can only have so many relationships and keep those going. But Justin, I kind of hit it off. Uh, I tried to help him out as much as I could. And he's very, been very generous to, to send me out stuff to try and, and value my opinion. So I appreciate that relationship that we have. Uh, and I hope you guys check out Iowa Beer Company if you haven't. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to DM him. If you have questions for me, put it in the comments. We'll uh, see if we can address those. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. See you on the next video.